outside the courthouse. This group of demonstrators leading a march in solidarity of the Arbery family. They say it's about showing the nation their push to see this family get justice. On your side, Tristan Hardy joins us live in Glen County tonight. Tristan. Well, demonstrators say it's about keeping the pressure on inside and outside of the courtroom to activists. They say that showing this march uh, means that people in Glen County care about what happened to Ahmaud Arbery. Shut it down. Shut it down. When we do this march, it's for the community. It's for the community to say we're putting our arms around this family. While this isn't the first march demonstrators have done, it's their way of showing love and support. That we're here to remind you that you are empowered and that you have the right to be heard. Like the steps they take around the courthouse, their fight for justice is slow and steady. It was a three mile walk around the courthouse while Ahmad's father and aunts led the way. And we will see it done. That's right. Step by step, yeah. day by day. Yes. And you are showing the world what it takes to get justice in one of the most difficult cases ever. A case that's been under scrutiny, especially after the news of a jury that's predominantly white. That's what the march is about is to be certain that the pressure remains on the system to get it right. Leaving a family to wait and see what results will be at the end of this trial. What do we do? Stand up, fight, fight! Now, this is, the not, this is not the last march that you will be seeing. In fact, there's another one that's going to happen next Thursday, same time, 2 p.m. For now, we're live in Glen County. I'm Tristan Hardy, First Coast News, on your side. Tristan, thank you.